This video explains how to include websites in your Works Cited list according to the 7th edition of the MLA Handbook. If your instructor has indicated that you should only use scholarly or peer-reviewed sources for your paper, this does not include websites. Instead, visit the Munn Library's homepage to search for books, ebooks, and scholarly journal articles. Sometimes, depending on the course or the assignment, it may be appropriate to use a website as a source, but make sure you evaluate it carefully. There are some credible websites out there that would be good sources of reliable information, like government or museum websites, for example. But unfortunately, there are plenty more that aren't very credible or well-written, give questionable information, and should be avoided as sources for a university research paper. For more help with evaluating websites, see the Munn Library's webpage, How to Evaluate Internet Resources. Let's get started with how to cite an entire website. In this example, punctuation is in red for emphasis. In your actual Works Cited list, all font would be black. Include as much of the following information as possible. Start with the author's last name, followed by their first name. Then, the name of the website in italics. Next is the name of the institution or organization affiliated with the site. If this information is not available, enter n.p. for no publisher. After the comma, enter the date of publication. The format is day, abbreviated month, and year. See page 235 of the MLA Handbook for abbreviations of all 12 months. If there is no date available, enter n period d period for no date. Then enter the medium of publication. Medium refers to the format. Web is how MLA refers to any online source or website. Finally, indicate the date you accessed it. The format is also day, abbreviated month, and year. The MLA handbook says to not include a URL or web address unless your instructor specifically requests you include them. Let's look at a completed example. It's very common to not have a specific author for a website. In this case, begin with the name of the site instead. The publisher of the site is the Folk Art Society. It's often very difficult to determine a date for a website. Here we've used N period D period. Finally, we'll look at how to cite an individual page or document on a website. You simply enter the title of the web page or document in quotation marks before the name of the website. Here's a completed example where all of the required information was available on the website. Thanks for watching. For in text citations, watch our video Citing Sources in MLA Style A Basic Introduction. For more information about MLA Style, visit the Munn Library's webpage for our MLA Guide and to chat live with library staff.